Dr. Mack is my uh, partner soulmate. Uh, my favorite thing about working with a partner is our patients benefit tremendously because they all get two brains instead of one. And we talk about each patient's treatment plan together and we really make sure that their outcome and what they get out of their treatment here is the best. We're excited about this year, especially with our 100th anniversary. The membership continues to grow dramatically. We see a bright future for Booth Bay and Booth Bay Harbor and for the club and the hotel and all the other retailers in town. And everybody's very optimistic and are thinking we're gonna have a great future here in Booth Bay Harbor. We hope to see you this summer. Come relax and unwind with us at Oceanside. See you soon. Hi everybody and welcome to this episode of Dock and Dine. We are back in beautiful Booth Bay Harbor with our friend Paul. Good to see you. Good to see you, Erin. It's good to be seen this year, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's fabulous. Welcome to Booth Bay Harbor. Oh, you picked the perfect day. Again. Again. <laughs> keep picking the good days. It's always perfect here at Booth Bay Harbor. Uh, all right, so it is a big week. I've been wanting to come for this week for many years. Tell us about it. It's my favorite week, actually. You know, we consider it Christmas week for Booth Bay. Uh, you can see the wind jammers uh, about ready to enter the harbor. It's an exciting week, but we have a lot of things going on. As you know, we have lobster eating contests. We have the pirates doing their shows. Uh, so we, we have fireworks uh, yeah. tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, so there's a little something for everybody. And, and we expect some big crowds here this week. And particularly today when the wind jammers make their formal arrival. Right. into the harbor. Yeah, the downtown is hustling and bustling. It's the 59th uh, season here of the Windjammer Days, so we're gonna head into town and you can learn a little bit more. This is the 59th annual version of Windjammer Days. Started in 1962, and we just keep building on the energy of that every year, and it basically is all about highlighting the shipbuilding and maritime history of Booth Bay Harbor. If you look behind me, tall ship links, sails out of Nantucket. They're an impressive tall ship day or night. Usually the, at, after dusk, the shrouds are lit up, which is an impressive thing on its own right. But under full sail, this is an awesome vessel. And today we have the Victory Chimes, three-masted schooner out of Rockland, Louis R. French, 150-year-old schooner. Sycamore from Alna is also here. There's a total of 17 schooners coming in. And when you put that many sailing vessels together at one time. It's an impressive sight. Up on the top of the town dock right now, we contract with a group of pirates from the mid-coast area, and the kids love it. They all come decorated with hats and eye patches and pirate swords and so forth. And I think they, and parents and grandparents, look forward to that every year. It's a good time. Oh, it's excellent. I mean, it's the big boost, the first bump, in business for every retailer, the food and beverage industry, lodging. You know, I talked to the Chamber of Commerce yesterday. Basically, everybody is 100% booked during this festival. So th that's what we hope to accomplish, really. We're just a venue to bring people down and let everybody see what a great community is. And we're just crazy busy. Yeah, the, the uh, boat that we have here is the Mary E. And she is true history of the Kennebec boat building tradition. She was built in 1906, right in the Kennebec River. She was one of 69 boats that were built by the builder that built this one. And uh, over time, 4,700 wooden ships were built in the Kennebec. Oh, I think it's huge. You know, the Windjammer Days thing is big for Booth Bay. I'm a resident here in Booth Bay too, so I love the fact that this whole thing's here, even though I can't find a place to park, but that's okay. I know where to park. <laughs> yeah, the, the history of, of um, shipbuilding on the coast of Maine goes back 460 years, so it's thrilling and it's great to see everybody here enjoying it and learning more about it. Well, the museum has got uh, the, the true history of shipbuilding in the state of Maine. 
and uh, it's really spectacular. There's a lot there from the, the frames of the Wyoming, which is a, the biggest ship that was ever built there at the Percy and Small Shipyard. Uh, the boat that we have here today, the Mary E, was built on the premises of where Bath Iron Works is today. So everything in between, all about wooden shipbuilding, the history of shipbuilding in Maine, where our boats went and sailed the world. An awesome place to learn more about the history. I mean, I've learned more there than I expected to as a volunteer. Windjammerdays.org has all the information, even for next year, already on the website. Start your planning now because there may not be any rooms available by the end of the year going into the end of next June. So come on down and have a good time. Hello, I'm Kelly Campbell at Balmy Days Cruises at 42 Commercial Street in Pier 8. Uh, it's wind Jimmer days. It's great to be outside overlooking the harbor on this beautiful sunny day. Bombay Days Cruises offers all-day trips to Monhegan Island. We leave every day at 9.30 in the morning and we arrive back at 4.15. You get to spend the entire day out on Monhegan where there's hiking trails, art galleries, a lighthouse museum, but really you're there for the beauty of the island. It's absolutely phenomenal. The hiking is amazing and if you're a birder, you're going to love the birds out there. Um, along the way, we've been known to see a few whales and puffins. We have one hour harbor tours, which you'll get the mailboat experience for a squirrel island. And that's pretty much everything we offer. So if you're looking for something, we can create anything that you'd like. If you'd like a private charter, we can go out in the evening and see the islands and everything that we have to offer. We have sailing on the Bay Lady for an hour and a half and we have mackerel fishing on the Miss Booth Bay, and we have one hour harbor tours on the Novelty. Um, every boat is different. Uh, the Monhegan boat and the Novelty, we have beer and wine provided uh, for a small fee. Uh, but if you would like to bring your own when you're going fishing or sailing or on a private charter on the, either of those boats, on the Miss Booth Bay or the Bay Lady, you can bring whatever you'd like to eat or drink, and also hors d'oeuvres as well. Um, this has been in our family for the last 40 years. My father-in-law and mother-in-law started this business. Um, my husband is Bill Camp Captain Bill Campbell. He does all the boats. He'll be, you'll see him some days on the Novelty, on the balmy days going to Monhegan, or sailing, or mackerel fishing. He pretty much does it all. He's amazing. I grew up here. I'm a native. We've been here for a long time. I won't give the years. <laughs> Booth Bay Harbor is beautiful. Um, it's unique. It's an amazing community and um, a very strong community. We start our boating trips in mid-May and we'll run through October. Um, if you're interested in joining any of our number of trips or pr would like a private charter, um, please call us at 207-633-2284. You can also look for us online at bombydayscruises.com. And I look forward to talking to you when we can create any experience you would like. Booth Bay Harbor, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. This we is how it weather. is all summer. All summer long. Visit by land or sea and take advantage of all there is to offer here. Well, at Booth Bay Harbor Oceanside Golf Resort, we have a beautiful view. It's right there on the water. We have paddle boarding and kayaking. And of course, if you want to charter the private Hinkley yachts, then you can do that and have a nice sunset or cocktail cruise or just simply go out and see the whales and puffins or wherever you choose. Or if you're like me, you can also enjoy pickleball, tennis, poolside relaxation, sushi at Oceanside, fine wine and fillets at Paul Steakhouse, and some of my personal favorites from Grill 19, the main lobster bites. Here at Booth Bay Harbor Oceanside Golf Resort, there are three great ways to stay and play. Whether you choose the new luxurious golf villas overlooking the first hole, in-town cottages, or Oceanside Resort located at the water's edge. All three options offer exclusive membership benefits to award-winning Booth Bay Harbor Country Club. So join me this summer to stay, play, relax, and unwind. Welcome back everybody. Another must-try experience when you're in Booth Bay Harbor is Cabbage Island, a traditional Maine lobster bake per Paul suggestion. Uh, we had such a great time. Uh, the family really knows how to do it. They do it every day. They have the most authentic lobster clam bake you've ever seen. We highly recommend it with all our guests at the hotel and, 
Uh, people go there and they're sold out every every day they operate. So it's the number yeah. one tourist attraction in Booth Bay Harbor and it's a must do if you come to visit town. Yeah, make a reservation and now meet the Moore family who owns and operates it. Aaron, I'd like to welcome you to Cabbage Island Clam Bakes on a beautiful night with the wind jammers here. We're located in the middle of Linnican Bay, which is about three miles long and a mile and a half wide, and we're smack in the middle. And uh, this is our 33rd year of doing clam bakes. I was going down the bay one day, and, and I went on the island. Grass was probably two feet tall, and I just fell in love. So I bought it. I didn't have any thought of doing the clam bake. I was just going to fix the buildings up and have yep. a summer home, a family summer home. But uh, a couple of people I knew called me one day and they said, would you ever consider restarting the clam bakes? And I said, well, no, I, I can't do it. Well, he asked if I'd want to be involved. What he really said was, would you want to come up and be 50-50 partners? And oh, by the way, you don't need any money. So I, my wife wasn't even in the room. I said, I'm in, you know. <laughs> Is this live? <laughs> She'll see this, but uh, anyhow, that's how we started. Our mother obviously was a big part of this. Uh, she would go around and talk to every table and, and uh, welcome everyone. And she just loved it. It became a focus of her life. And even three weeks before her death, she was talking to me about packing her bags and how excited she was. It really extended her life. My wife posted on Facebook after my mother passed away, 1,500 customers wrote paragraphs. <clears throat> of course, we miss mom. Um, we love our staff. The kids are great. I mean, they're, we shot these kids at 14 years old. We keep a lot of them right through college, so we'll have eight, nine-year employees on a seasonal business, which is wonderful. It's an easy business. I, I mean, there's a lot going on. The, the kids do a fabulous job, but for us, just greeting our customers and talking to them is, and meeting people from away, plus people from Maine, it's, it's, fat, it's, it's wonderful. Usually the boat would get here at about 5.45, uh, and then they'll do about a 6 o'clock chowder and then at 6.30, everyone would come right down here and they would pick up uh, what, what we cook, lobsters, clams, corn, onion, potato, egg. I'll be down at that far end, setting trays up and uh, slide them right down. Four guys will be back, back here loading up the trays. There'll be a girl right at this very end, uh, just handing everything right up. The thing you're gonna wait for is you wanna hear that air horn. As soon as that air horn goes, then just come right on down. And all you have to do is show up, we'll do the rest. So now we're gonna get these fires going to get these lobsters cooking. Welcome to Cabbage Island. My name is Ryan Moore. I'm the general manager and the next generation of Cabbage Island clam bakes. The beauty of this business is that we have been doing the same thing the same way my family has for 33 years now. And prior to that, the Levis did it for 25 years. And, you know, it, it works. It's a well-oiled machine and we really enjoy what we're doing. If you've never been to Maine, or even if you live in Maine, you think that this is kind of a tourist destination, it's not. This is the real Maine experience. We take you out on a boat, you see lighthouses, you see seals, you see islands, you see the whole thing. You come out here, we cook all your food over an open fire, wrapped in seaweed, steamed over salt water. Uh, Greg chops all that wood himself, and it is just, it's as Maine as you can get. Come see us this summer. Uh, we operate June 19th through September 12th, seven days a week, rain or shine. In our house, there's no such thing as an off-season. With hockey in the morning and afternoon soccer practice on the other side of town. With Apple CarPlay to keep the whole family connected and 26 MPG for those last-minute grocery runs, thank goodness for my favorite child. Discover new possibilities with a Honda and upgrade to a new pilot. Visit MainHondaDealers.com. Hi everyone, it's Rob Barrett from Kitchen Closet Millwork and Furniture, also known as KCMF, sister company of Barrett Made. We're really excited to share with you what we're building over there in Westbrook. We are building custom kitchens, we're building custom closets, we have a lot of custom and one-off millwork items as well as our own furniture brands, uh, Furniture and a couple new brands we'll be launching soon. It's super important to keep this craftsmanship and skills going in Maine and this is an opportunity for us to have apprenticeship programs over there and grow this skill set and this type of industry in Maine. If you want to get in touch with us, please call or email. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank and we're really excited that warm weather has arrived. So that means if you're looking to buy or create your own special place with a dock, 
Kennebec Savings Bank has lots of financing options for camps and cottages. Whether it's on or near a lake or ocean, our staff stand ready to assist you to make your dreams become a reality. So click or call Kennebec Savings Bank today. Hi, I'm Jane Millett, and I just joined the Dot All Your team for the camaraderie and the team effort that we have together. It's a great working group. I love the Midcoast because there's so much diversity here in terms of geography and people from all over. It's just a great place to be. I have a wealth of experience from all the years that I've been doing this and my town involvement. And it's great to introduce them both to the community and to real estate in, in Brunswick and encourage them to come to this area. We're looking forward to working with you this summer or fall for any of your real estate needs. So please call us. My name is Michael Maxim. This is my first time on Cabbage Island and I can't believe as a local that this was my first experience, but it is a wonderful experience. The Moore family who have been part of Booth Bay for a very long time do a great job out here, right? Yeah, they are amazing family that produce a lot of lobsters and have a great time. I'm Catherine Tracy. I am a member of the Friends of Windermer Committee and I love to host events and She's going to be I'm eating excited. lobster tomorrow. Yes. It's a lobster eating contest and Catherine's pretty good at that too. So she's prepping tonight here at Cabbage Island. Right. <laughs> we like to keep our roots. Our heritage is very important around here. That's why we've carried this tradition of Windjammer Days and bring the ships back every year. So it's nice to be able to carry on the tradition of the fishermen, the lobstermen, and everything else about the community that we live yeah. in. So. My name is Stephen St. John from Johnson City, Tennessee. Dave Karitsky, Maypac, New York. Angie Henderson, Kingsport, Tennessee. I found the Victory Chimes on the internet. I'd never been to Maine. This is my second trip, and I'll be back. I'm Tom Yale. I live uh, right here in Booth Bay Harbor. This is the quintessential lobster clam bake. You do not get all of this anywhere else in Maine that I'm aware of. Dan, this is my, uh, my bake assistant. Actually, he's the bake master. Uh, the bake I just, master. I'm just, he's the bake master. I'm just the pretty title. face. We got Tyson, Liam, we got Grady, and we got Jackson over here. And I'm Greg. Uh, this is my 25th summer doing the cooking. It's so. not a bad office, you guys. You'll appreciate this more than you know when you're my age. It really awesome. doesn't get much better than that. I'm Ben Pierce. I'm from Booth Bay. Just graduated here. Where are you going to school? The State. Playing uh, basketball there. I'm all right. In physical education. Awesome. Yeah, super excited. Are you a center? Uh, well, no, I mean, you're pretty, God, you're yeah. pretty tall. I, I played center in uh, high school, but I probably play like three or four in uh, okay, college. How tall are you? Six, seven. Jeez. Yeah. Good. Booth Bay did you well, huh? Yeah, definitely. Well, best of luck to you, my friend. Thank Go you. Plymouth Thank State. You. Thank you. <laughs> and the Maine Black Bears. Definitely. Yeah. Booth <laughs> Bay, Booth Bay, you say Harvard! Booth Bay, Harvard! Booth Bay, Harvard! Booth Bay, Harvard. Booth Bay, Harvard. Booth Bay, Harvard. Hi everyone, welcome to Print Salon in Falmouth. We're gonna head back now and dock and dine at Oceanside. Again, one of my favorite places here on the harbor. Tell us about the menu, Paul. Well, you know, we're well known for our sushi and uh, sashimi, the best in this part of the state of Maine. And we have the traditional lobster roll and steamers and cl uh, fried clams. Uh, but we're also known for our great steaks and haddock and, and seafood. So yeah, you're welcome to dock your boat dine there at Oceanside and then simply walk across the footbridge um, over to town. And so when you walk over the footbridge to your right up the hill is a new store that I want to introduce you to, AE Home. Allison and her husband, I'm going to call him Fritzy, that's his nickname, 
Uh, he actually grew up summering on Cabbage Island and working there and fell wow. in love with Booth Bay. I didn't know that I fact. Another uh, great story. I know Allison and her, her parents are members of the country club and uh, she's been there I think three or four years now and she's just doing very well. She's redecorated, purchased the store and she has a big variety of ceramics there and uh, it's a fun s a shop to it's stop beautiful. in and just browse. Another Made in Maine success story. Meet Allison and Fritzy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allison, and you are in my store that's in Booth Bay Harbor. It's called AE Home. Um, we've been here for about six years, and we're having a lot of fun. So this is my lovely husband, Chris. He has helped me build everything that we have together. Oh, I glaze all the pottery, uh, ship stuff with Michael Maxim back there, fix the kilns, anything that needs to happen. I just kind of step in and, and do that. My parents had a summer home here when I was a kid. I actually worked with her sister and cousin on Cabbage Island, and that's how I met Allison. And then we kind of had a awakening and said, you know what, we want to be in Maine all the time. So we bought this building and renovated it, and here we are today. We now we have a warehouse in East Booth Bay where we do all of, all of the production, which is a really big deal for us because we used to do it in the back of this space. Um, and we've been slowly bringing other things into our store over the years. And we try to bring in a lot of Maine made products. I love the oyster shell. The first pieces I made was this whole oyster series. And um, when I started making this stuff, I don't know, 19 years ago, it wasn't as big of a thing, but now it's like, I couldn't have hit it better because everybody wants oyster plates to serve these amazing oysters on. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the shells, the colors. I mean, I love to go snorkeling and look at the colors under the water. Um, so I try to grab, you know, just little pieces from the landscape. She does an amazing job with kind of taking natural shapes and creating her own thing with it. Um, it's pretty fun to watch. I can have an idea, but she can execute it, which is uh, fun to watch the process. So the oyster collection is made up of a series of platters and a series of bowls, and they can be used together um, to serve any kind, you know, any combination of things. Um, I also have a series that I call the sea urchin series of concentric bowls that can, can nest inside of each other. And then we have the razor clam series, which same sort of thing. We have you know a larger, lo elongated form that has smaller concentric pieces. And all of them, you know, they're really versatile, which is, I think, fun, because they're all very natural colors. They all really can play well together. So everything that I've made in here is inspired by this beautiful state that we live in. Maine is, is gorgeous. You think you've seen the most beautiful thing, and then you turn the corner, and there's another gorgeous harbor. And, you know, I'm really lucky to be here. I can't believe that I've managed to make such an awesome life living in this beautiful state. We have a child who's really happy here, and. You know, it's it's all it's everything's really come together for us. So we're really lucky to be here. Hi everyone. My name is Michael Maxim, and I am part of the team here at AE Home and AE Ceramics. And we are in the lovely store in Booth Bay Harbor. Uh, we also have a great opportunity to order on our website. You can see all of our glazes that are available, which we also have here in our store on this beautiful wall. Uh, we start with our porcelain white. We have our mint and tortoise two of our favorites, but my favorite in the middle is also Allison's favorite glaze here, and that is the mint charcoal. Uh, but you can see all of our glazes and all of our patterns, the sea urchin bowls, the oyster series, so check us out at aeceramics.com. We ship anywhere in the US, and we can talk about international shipping as well. So give us a call, check out our website, and come visit us all here in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. And another beautiful day here to dock and dine in Booth Bay Harbor. Paul, good to see you. Great to see you, Aaron. Thank you for coming up to Booth Bay Harbor. And we just happen to have <laughs> the Victory Chimes, which is the largest windjammer. I believe it's around 130 feet uh, from Rockland, right in our purview. Uh, and that's perfect for windjammer week. Cue the beauty. And sign up next year and come see the 60th anniversary of Windjammer Days. That's right, yeah. 60 And see years. us, you know, maybe next week, so. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Happy summer, everybody. Well, I'm originally from Connecticut, but I've been in Maine since 90, 90, 91. What do you love about your job? Well, I get to, I'm working outside every day. I get to drive some pretty nice boats, get to work on some even nicer boats. Now at four years, 
everybody who came in today has been, I know them. It's a lot of repeat customers and uh, that's kind of fun. So it gets to be like a family.